How's it going, Jeremiah? In today's video, I will be showing you how you can use your Casio tone to connect to your computer or your laptop to do professional multi-track song recording and music production. There will be three parts to this video. Part one is I will show you how to use this as a MIDI controller to control virtual instruments in your computer. Part two, I will show you how to record the internal sounds, styles and rhythms in the Casio tone into your computer. And in part three of this video, I will teach you how to combine both the virtual instruments in your computer as well as the sounds inside these Casio tones for your music song recording. This tutorial can be applied to all of the Casio tones CTS-100, CTS-200, CTS-300 and LKS-250. So if you have any of this keyboard, you can follow the steps here because they will be exactly the same. The first thing you need to do is to take your power adapter and plug it into your power supply because music production usually takes quite a few hours and you will definitely do not want to run out of power halfway. So I do not recommend using batteries. The next thing you need is a micro USB to a type A USB cable like this. I will leave a link in the description for you to get this cable if you do not already have it. So this end, the micro USB, you will connect it to your Casio tone. And you will connect this other end to an available USB port on your laptop or your computer. If you are using your Casio tone as a MIDI controller, you will need to go into the function button and go to local control and turn it to off. Now your keyboard is ready to be used as a MIDI controller. For recording the built-in sounds in your Casio tone into your computer, you will need an audio interface like this. So this is a Focusrite Scarlett I will leave a link in the description below. Using this, you can plug in your microphones, your guitars, as well as your keyboard and capture the sound from your keyboard and your instruments into the computer directly. So you will also need an additional cable for your Casio tone. So on the Casio tone, you will need this cable from 3.5 millimeter to a pair of 6.3 millimeter. I will leave a link in the description for both the Focusrite audio interface. And this is not very expensive. I'll leave a link in the description. I would recommend that anyone who is into music production to get one of these because you can use it for all kinds of keyboards, guitars, instruments, as well as microphone. So on your Casio tone, you will plug in the 3.5 millimeter jack into the headphones output over here. You would then plug in this pair of 6.3 millimeter jack into your Focusrite audio interface like this. After you connect your 6.3 millimeter jack, you just need to connect your audio interface using the included cable in the box to your computer USB port like this and you are ready to go. Once you have done connecting all the cables that you need for your keyboard to your computer, you need to go download this free program, Cakewalk by Ben Labs. I will leave a link in the description, so make sure you check it out. This is completely free of charge. And once you have downloaded it and you have followed the instructions to install this, you will find an icon on your desktop here. All you need to do is double click on it. And once you have double click on that, you don't need to go to a new project over here and select an empty project. And before you even do anything, you have to make sure that the connection is done properly. Go right up here to preferences and right on top, you will see audio. Make sure that it has your audio interface. In this case, I'm using the Focusrite Scarlett. So make sure that this is selected. Input one is selected, Focusrite USB input. And when you go to driver setting, make sure that it says 
focus right up here. Next is MIDI. You want to go to MIDI devices and make sure that Casio USB MIDI is selected. You do not need any external uh, additional drivers because the Casio, Casio tunes are class compliant. You just have to plug it in and you'll be recognized as a Casio USB MIDI device. Once you've done that, just click apply and click close. Now you have this in front of you. We're gonna make use of this to create our very first MIDI file. So you just have to right mouse click on here, insert instrument, and we're gonna use a piano voice that is already built inside here. This is the electric piano, and we're gonna click create. Once you have done that, it will pop out this little instrument here. As I play the notes, you can see on the screen, the keys are moving because this sound does not come from the Casio tone. This sound comes from inside the computer by the virtual instrument itself. So now we're gonna record this virtual instrument. You can record by going up to this part of the program and clicking the red button so that it arms this track for recording. And you go right up here, click record. And click stop. And you can play back that recording. What if you want to record the voices from inside your Casio tone? So to do that, it would have to go through the Focusrite audio interface, which I have left a link in the description. So do check it out. Now we are going to use the sounds inside this keyboard and record it into our DAW. So we are not gonna use any virtual instrument. The first thing you wanna do is go to your function key and set your local control back to on. If you don't set it back to on, you will not hear the sounds from this keyboard. So I have gone ahead and done that. And once you have done that, you just go to this part of your DAW and insert an audio track. So an audio track is for you to record your guitars, your microphones, your keyboards, the sound from your keyboard into the digital audio workstation. And what you need to do is open up this strip size here and select in the input, you want to select your Focusrite USB ASIO and make sure stereo is selected. Once stereo is selected, you can hear the sound comes from the Casio tone. So now that I have everything set up on this keyboard here, I'm going to record by going to this track here and clicking on ARM and this will be ready to record this track. Going to go right up here on top and click record and when I'm ready, anytime I'm ready, I just have to play my style and my rhythm. So this is the intro that is in the built-in part of the keyboard. And once I'm done, I just have to press stop and I can go back to the beginning and can press play to listen to it. So this is the recording that comes from the keyboard itself. So now we're going to overlay a MIDI track over it. Before you use a MIDI track, you want to make sure that you go into the function of your Casio tone and change it to local control to off so that the sounds will not be coming out from this keyboard itself. And the next thing you want to do is create a instrument track. We're going to use the same piano that we were using earlier on because it's free and it comes with this a DAW, you can check out the links in the description. 
So now I'm going to arm this track and I'm going to disarm this because we are not going to record this one here. We're going to record his, this one here, which is our MIDI track. So this instrument is a virtual instrument and the sound does not come from the Casio tone. Once you're ready, all you need to do is press record. Okay, press stop. So now let's disarm this so we will not accidentally record over it. Let's listen to both the MIDI, which is on track 2, over here, as well as our audio, our sound from the keyboard itself, the styles and the rhythm from the keyboard itself, both at the same time. There you go, we have managed to successfully record the sounds from inside this Casio tone as well as mixing it with a virtual instrument track from a free DAW and all of these things here, the cable for you to connect your MIDI, the cable for you to connect to your audio interface as well as the best audio interface for beginners, cheapest best audio interface for beginners is found in the link below so make sure you go download it as well as this free door my name is jeremy c and i'll see you in my next video bye bye